Hey folks, Common Sense here. <clears throat> had a reshoot, had uh, some sound issues. Going with the old-fashioned lavalier mic. Uh, so <clears throat> January is oftentimes the uh, the New Year's resolution time. And uh, it's interesting because most people uh, talk. Uh, they go and uh, get a uh, gym membership and they're going to get in shape. And they're, gonna, they're really going to do it this time. And by February, they, they haven't. And uh, they're stuck with a gym membership that they have to cancel. And, and all these cheap memberships are, uh, what they don't tell you is they're very difficult to cancel. What I want you to do this year instead, well, let, let's back up a minute. There are so few things inside your control in this world. There are people pulling strings, there are governments doing weird things, there's uh, activists uh, trying to shut down farming and making it more difficult to get food, there's inflation, there's, there's so many things outside your control. The thing that is most within your control is your physical and mental well-being, uh, your physical capabilities. So what I'd like you to do is find what works for you and either be a little or a lot more in shape physically and mentally by next year. So last year, I'm, I'm six foot five, uh, and I came in, I started weighing myself in the morning at, at 264, and that was too much. My knees weren't happy, I was playing tennis, it was just too much. So I'm like, I, I gotta get back down to 240. Um, for every 10 pounds, of weight you lose, it's 40 pounds off your knees times all the steps you take. It's a lot of weight off your knees. Um, so I decided that I need to get back to losing weight and, and get back to uh, 240. So how was I gonna do that? Because I, I made that determination two weeks later, I was still the same weight. So I'm like, all right, two pounds at a time. First goal, let's get it down to 262. Let's get back to intermittent fasting. So I intermittent fast. I, I intermittent fast on the um, 618 program. So from, or the uh, uh, 816 program, excuse me, 816. So from eight o'clock at night to 11 o'clock the next morning, I don't eat. Um, and then I, so I have basically two meals a day. And if I stick with that, I can lose weight pretty quickly because I'm playing tennis, I'm doing my physical therapy for my knees, um, I'm doing a lot of things. But if I <clears throat> have a conscious thought process of what's going in my body, um, better results. So I started losing weight. I, and then pretty soon I got down, I, I skipped over 262 and I was right back down to 258. And I was 255. But it was a process of months. It wasn't <clears throat> getting frustrated and stopping after a week. It was months and it was uh, dedication. And it was also the understanding and the forgiveness that some days I'm gonna do better than others. So I want you to make a determination that you are going to be more physically fit next year. Because I hear people talking in the preparedness community about bugging out. And you look at them and their, their gut is hanging over their belt and they couldn't even get a hip belt on. They're gonna bug out to 150 miles away. Folks, without the pack, they're not gonna make it a mile. Their knees are gonna give out. <clears throat> so if you think something bad is coming and, and whatever that looks like, if you think that society is, is um, headed towards uh, darker times, which seems to be a, a, a pretty common theme these days, the number one thing, the most proactive and in your control thing you can do is get into better physical and mental shape. Whatever that looks like, start walking. There's plenty of YouTube videos that, that talk about how to do it, but start walking and then go from there and then figure out what works for you. And don't take a bunch of other people's advice because whatever works for you is what works for you. So that is the physical part. The mental part might be even more important. <clears throat> if you're not stressed out after the last three years, you're not paying attention. And if you're not paying attention, if you could teach me how to do that, I would love to know how to do that because I am not capable of not paying attention to what's going on. 
uh, which is why I'm talking at my phone. Um, but if you are paying attention, you're stressed out, uh, physical activity will help. It'll get your brain chemistry a little more dialed in. But if you have days like I do where, you know, it's just, it's just too much, um, I take something called Pharmagaba, and I'll include a link in the description below. And Pharmagaba, I, I don't know what it does, I don't know how it does it, but it's just, I take the 250 milligrams because I'm, I'm big, there's a 100 milligram version if you're not as big. Um, but I, I would highly recommend that. Um, it doesn't make you numb, it just takes the edge off. And we, I think we all need something just to take the edge off sometimes. And, and it's a lot healthier than, than the drinking and, and, and doing drugs. So it's my recommendation. <clears throat> Probably the, the, the second to all those most important thing you can do is be honest with yourself. I did a, a, a match with a buddy of mine called the Proving Grounds. And the Proving Grounds is basically CrossFit with guns. And everyone was some version of special operations except the two of us, my buddy and I. And, and he came in third because he's an incredible shooter and he's in great shape. But he's a little guy. And CrossFit, anyone who's done CrossFit knows it's not designed for giant people. Um, nothing but props to the people that do it, but they're all little and their strength to weight ratio is off the charts. Um, but I think probably the, the tallest person that's ever won CrossFit games is like 5'8". Um, so, and if you, it, the interesting thing, if you look in the special operations community, most of them are little guys as well. Credible fit, little people. Um, so it's, it's kind of a theme. But I did this, uh, the very first stage was flipping a tire, a 200 pound tire. And it had been raining the night before and, and that morning. And when I went to flip that tire, I, I, it slipped out of my hands and it landed on the tip of that finger. And I could feel the tendon pop in my forearm. So I stopped flipping tires. I, I, I was supposed to flip that tire 10 times. I didn't even make it once. And then I was sucking wind because I was wearing a plate carrier and I wasn't breathing properly and I didn't know that I wasn't breathing properly. So I went after that stage and I taped up my wrist <clears throat> and I got to the end of the day. And I realized the one thing that I was really doing well, my kit was good, my equipment was good, and I was shooting really well. Um, I was not physically capable of, as an individual, very tall individual, flipping over tires. That wasn't going to be my strong suit. So what I realized, I needed a to find people that that was their strong suit, or I need to find a team of people. So being honest with yourself, being honest about your physical fitness and your capabilities, and as you get older, they they get less. I've got patella tendonitis right now that I'm having to do rehab on. And it's great because it's strengthening up my legs, but it hurts like a mother. Um, and if something happened tomorrow, I, I, I would not be up to speed. I would have patella tendonitis. Um, so be honest with yourself. Figure out what you can and cannot do. Because the reality is, if you can't do something and you want and you still want to do that and you don't have a plan B, then you need to get in shape so that you can do that. Uh, and that is fully 100% within your control. Um, you don't need a gym membership. I've got a TRX hanging from the ceiling in my garage. Works just fine. Uh, body weight exercises work just fine. Uh, running wind sprints work just fine. Find a hill, run up it, grab a backpack, put some stuff in it, go walk. I mean, it's, it's the fitness industry has been overcomplicated. Uh, <laughs> can you imagine someone more fit than the, the pioneers, you know, huffing over the Appalachian Trail? I mean, Appalachian Mountains with, with nothing, with no trail, nothing. Um, yeah, those guys are fit and women and children because uh, they're carrying everything they need on their backs. So it doesn't need to be complicated. But uh, I challenge you to be a little or a lot more physically and mentally fit by this time next year. And, uh, and if you want to, sound off in the comments and, and, and make a commitment to something. Um, but it is 100% within your control. It might be the only thing 
within your control. So do it. So I uh, appreciate y'all being here. Appreciate all the new subscribers. Appreciate JJ over at uh, Reality Survival sending you here. Thanks so much. Um, like, subscribe, share it out, uh, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks.